there's never been a, a, a Rakhon's Go dig done here. Um, and the house has been here for so long, we've never had a dig here. Um, so it's very, very important to uh, find uh, buildings and so forth that were actually in the grounds and find out how they were constructed and um, any artefacts that are left at pottery, different things. So these finds that are in the bags in this part of the table are actually uh, items that have been recovered from the ground this week and form part of the record of the, the human activity on the site. Probably most interestingly this piece of medieval green glaze and uh, this probably dates to around 1450 uh, which would make it uh, probably as old, if not older, than the building that we're in at the moment. And in this bag here, we have the remains of a copper spoon, uh, similar to the one in the photograph, uh, and that's a standard uh, utensil of the time. Now, the ointment jar is quite an unusual item. Um, it's probably comparatively new. It may be uh, maybe from the late 19th century, so 1880s or thereabouts. We can see the, the, the writing on the, the jar itself. Uh, it includes some information about what it's for. It's for treating boils and sores and cuts and that sort of thing. Um, and there's also a reference to Lincoln on the, uh, on the, the script on the side of it. Basically what we did, there was all this kind of red glaze, we've taken that out and we came across this kind of black kind of layer of kind of clay stuff. Um, again, that was just kind of like really compact, we took all of that out there and found um, a stone here at the bottom with a quite a big hole in it and it has mortar on the bottom of it. So, and we were talk talking before about um, looking to see if there was something like a staircase or a building coming from this door. So, this is a possible possible evidence of that there was and it's a support system for maybe like a wooden post. We extended our trench here. What we're doing is we're going to be looking for the gable end of a building that ran in this direction, part of the 19th century farm. But in fact, the farm, that building with long range actually appears on the, one of the early 18th century maps. And what I'm doing here is I'm excavating through, see if we can get, hit one of the cross, the long walls running through this trench. Now we've come down onto this blaze material, this bright red stuff, which is um, just waste from industrial processes like slate. Uh, and shale things and things like that. And that's been brought in once the site was demolished and levelled off. So that's sealing all the archaeology. And in that we've got lots of modern finds, 90, uh, bits of ironwork, bits of milk bottles, bits of clay pipes, things like that. So hopefully if we get down through it, we'll get some more archaeology out of that.